On Wednesday, a lot of us woke up to the devastating news of club legend Mr Morton Alan McGraw had sadly passed away. From everyone here at the club, myself, players, directors and the fans, we would just like to send our condolences to, to Alan's family, friends and everyone who knew him. Such a sad day for Morton Football Club. Also, a week past in, a week past in Friday, was the devastating news of the, the two local men who passed away in the, in the, in the local tugboat accident. Um, again, we would just like to send our condolences as a club to the, 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 the family of, of these men who lost their lives. No one should ever have to go to their work and not return. So just looking at Saturday's game now, of course, the, the result, I know, a massive win. Yeah, it was, it was a terrific uh, victory. Um, at times in the game, it looked as if we weren't we were going to get the, the victory that we wanted. But again, massive credit must go to the players. You know, I, I felt in the game we were comfortable, um, especially first half with two fantastic efforts or, or, or chances. Sorry to to go ahead. One Scott Fox makes a terrific save for off Robbie Crawford, and and then Young McGratton um, is through one on one and and somehow manages to stick it in, in Rose head. But listen, I think in the game, Young Lewis was, was terrific and he, he just got to to get the head up from that. You know I mean? He's, he'll get more opportunities like that in his career. He just got a little bit of composure to put it away. After the first goal, obviously, you could see the boost it gave everyone around the stadium. You must have been thinking, you know, that's going to go one way. Yeah, but when you're saying like that, it was, it was always going to be a difficult game, Gareth. You know, Cove... Don't bring a big support as we know. Um, so our fans had to generate an atmosphere, and I think at times it was it was flat. Um, and, and in the reaction at half time, I, I was a little bit gutted a wee bit um, with the reaction at half time with the with the burn of the players. Because I think in the, the last four or five games, the boys have been excellent. Um, and, and listen, evening games against the top top team and then last Saturday against Queen's but it's easy to generate an atmosphere and I think at times and listen I've been so complimentary to the fans this season about how well they've backed us and got behind us I think at times against smaller teams when the boys are maybe a wee bit flat as well they need to get behind them and, and give them something to, to get at teams and, and like I say and, and you've touched on it there when we got that penalty the, the place just erupted and and like I say, if we could have been a wee bit more like that throughout the game, then listen, I'm not saying we would have been ahead or we'd have scored goals, but we may have gotten about the players to, to give a wee bit more. And listen, they've gave they've gave everything. But and then and then, like you said, once that first goal went Gareth, there was there was only one team going to win it for me. Of course, Robbie Crawford uh, popping up well eight goal. That's two goals for him this season, both coming against Cove and both winners. Yeah, but again, Robbie could have had a hat trick against Cove, and it was the same when we were up there. He could have had a hat trick, but listen. Delighted for a wee fella, you know he's what he's done since he's came to this club and really galvanised as a as a as a team and, and his his work rate is is unquestionable, you know and I'm just delighted to see him get another goal and hopefully that's a wee kickstart from maybe going a wee run. But overall, really pleased. Um, boys have been on as well. The subs, you know, Ali Crawford coming for his first start, Big Robbie coming back for injury, Calvin Miller coming back for injury. You know, that's three quality players went on and and like I say, they really helped us and then Effie going on as well. Um, real quality. Substitutions that we're making now. I right, looking at the subs as well. When you look at now compared to the start of the season, it's really refreshing to just to have that depth now, isn't it? Yes, and that's massive, you know, especially kind of crunch time of the season as well, Gareth. You know, we're, we're at down to 11 games to go. Um, so delighted, um, but there's still a long way to go in the season. Every a lot of twists and turns will still happen, both ends of the table. Um, and we're just delighted to be in and around it and where we're at at the moment. You know, from a rough start, during the year, you know, not having that first one in January, coming into February, getting that draw against Inverness, it's, it's pushed you on into now end February with, with three wins and one draw. You're, it's a great position to be in. Yeah, but again, I've got to take my half to the boys. have been terrific. Um, they've listened to it myself and Andy have asked of them. And the confidence is there. You can see the confidence again. But the pleasing thing for myself and Andy is that the strength of the, the squad now. You know I mean, everyone knows in training they've got to be fighting for that jersey on a Saturday and we're getting that and hopefully that will reap the rewards going forward as well. Playing Queen's Park this Saturday, obviously played them just just fairly recently. Two wins against them this season, you'll be going into that full of confidence. Yeah, but I think you've got to give credit to Queen's as well. They're at the top of the table for a reason. They've been very consistent. 
they've got good players in their team, we'll need to be wary of them. Um, but as you can see in the two games we've played them, we can also hurt them with, with some of their weaknesses and that's uh, tar- the areas that we'll target again on, on Saturday. And obviously we'll need to be switched on to their strengths. So like I say, it's going to be a great game and hopefully it is a great game. Of course, the last time we played Queen's Park away was the, the game that everyone talks about as being the start of that great run. Coming into this one and a bit of a different result, um, but you know, you'll know be looking to use the most of the momentum. Yeah, that's, momentum's massive, Gareth. You know, that's uh, 10 points for the last four games we've picked up. Fantastic, and we've got to continue that. Um, again, coming up against the league leaders, fantastic coaching staff, very, very experienced, Owen and Sandy. Um, so they'll have their team ready and prepared to come out as they've come off the back of a fantastic result against the Inforum team in Hamilton Aki. So, listen, we know there are no, there are no mugs, and you can see that where they are in the league. You know I mean? They've been consistent. But we've also been consistent the last four weeks, and we want to continue that as well. Of course, looking at the next week as well, you've got the two games coming up Saturday and Tuesday, Air United and, and Queen's Park, first and third. You know, you, you want to get that win on Saturday that then gives you that, that platform to, to move on to Tuesday. Yeah. Listen, any positive result in, in Saturday is not a disaster, you know. We just want to keep the, the momentum going, we want to keep on the run. And then whatever whatever happens we'll take care of and then like you say we move on to Saturday and then the following Saturday. But we always the focus here is one game at a time and that's full focus is tomorrow against Queen's Air sorry and Saturday against Queen's Park. Now we've spoken already about how good it is to have depth in the bench and your your team selection and ha- having those extra players. Just on that as well, how are the injuries ahead of Saturday? Yeah, I think Grant will still still be injured. Um, there's one or two carry knocks for the weekend, so we need to manage them best we can. If they make it, great. If they don't, we've got plenty of plenty of firepower in, in reserve now. So um, we're in a good place, but hopefully everyone's fit and available. But we'll leave that to the last minute and, and take our decision as team selection from there. And of course, on that as well, it was good to see Calvin and Robbie come back from from their side, spell on the sidelines to contribute to both goals. Yeah, listen. It could have been easy to keep Robbie and, and Calvin um, for the, the Dundee game, but I think in in the main we've made the right decision because we could have, we could have played, made them play against Dundee, lost them for five or six weeks. I think the correct decision was to leave them out, miss one game and then have them available for, for the remainder of a few games this season. So, like I said, I'd like to have two of them back. They, they made a massive contribution when they both came on, as did Ali Crawford. So, like I say, fantastic. Everyone's fighting to get that jersey. It's real pleasing going forward, Gareth, now at the end of the season with what we'll have in the building.